everyone welcome back to my channel i i have to apologize for not uploading yesterday which is sunday because yeah it's been a pretty busy weekend for me because yeah my friend is getting married so i've been helping out uh with her preparation <laughs> as her <laughs> bridesmaid yeah so i haven't been able to upload yesterday but i think i've been uploading near the end of last week so maybe there's not so much gap in terms of my uploads but today i'll be returning with a video uh, where i'll be also showcasing my four uh, different characters and i'll be using the remaining event coins from the halloween event shop and doing some mis miscellaneous upgrades hopefully we can get our character somewhere stronger <laughs> and hopefully that works on my nightwalker which is my main account yeah <laughs> okay so without further ado let's begin the first thing i wanted to do is of course to buy out the event shop items so for you guys who have still have remaining coins do remember to buy out some of these items because the shop is ending in uh, slightly less than three days so um i think it will close at around 10 a.m all the time so do remember to get your items out of the shop before that so for my night walker i'll be buying out actually the remainder of the nude stones yeah i only have two left so after that i'll only be left with 600 coins which i might be buying cubes or you know ab tickets because it's so scarce now i think most of you would have known what happened to the ab by now but i guess nexon has promised that they would uh, allow us to get access to auto battle tickets more easily by giving it through events or selling it through you know more affordable packages but we will see yeah i haven't actually explored the new packages but so far i haven't bought any so yeah if you guys have any comments about the new auto battle packages do feel free to leave it down in the comment section below because i'm also quite interested to hear how people feel about the new auto battle changes yep so without further ado, I wanted to hop straight into Star Force Enhancement. Yeah, let's try enhancing our shoe. Okay, I only have two sets of enhanced tickets, so not, not a lot to do. <laughs> let's hope that we don't have to keep doing this and that I'll be able to capture the star. <laughs> Success! Okay, no. Yeah, the chance is very low. Even if I manage to catch the star, I think the success rate is only 6% for Star Force Enhancement. Okay, both, <laughs> both failed. <laughs> Hopefully, I wash my luck <laughs> by doing this. Okay, so I also have a Hontail necklace that I managed to hunt from Chaos Hontail. So let's see whether we can manage to bring it to uh, Star Force 4. Okay, let's go. Okay, no. <laughs> My hotel necklace is really not having much luck. I don't get this drop very often and it's still stuck at, you know, Star Force 3, which is pretty low. <sighs> My luck with <laughs> accessories enhancement hasn't been very good on my Nightwalker. Oh, but this is one thing that I haven't showed you guys. So, I think maybe a couple of weeks back, I managed to bring my Pink Holy Cup to maximum Star Force. So, I managed to get Crit Damage Emblem, which is pretty lucky, I think. Yeah, but uh, as for my bossing set, I still use this Stone of Eternal Life because the set effect is much better compared to just using this Pink Holy Cup as my pocket item. So yeah, this is actually the one that I use. I haven't managed to get the Chaos one, the legendary one from the Chaos Hila. So I've still been using this unique Stone of Eternal Life. But for this Pink Holy Cup, I think it's not bad. Maybe if I... Um, trace the emblem to maximum, it might be decent. But for now, I still prefer to use this because of the set effect. I'm yeah, also not too sure what I want to do with this Pink Holy Cup at this point in time. Maybe just to try to get a drop rate potential, which I don't even know if it exists. Yeah, I don't even know how to check how are the possible potential. Maybe if I try to use a stone on it, I can see. Yeah, but I'll explore that another day. Okay, so for now, I wanted to hop straight into trying to necro my glove again. It's failed so many times, so <laughs> let's just quickly get into it. Yeah, I've already reduced the fail count, so no need for me to do that again. Okay, so back to removing our glove and trying to necro it. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> Just let me pass 4% chance super low Okay I think I've got a couple of like um, Mastercraft attempts to do across my character So this wouldn't be the only one But either way, let's just try our luck Hopefully we get to pass on our main account Nightwalker Let's go, please! Okay, fail Again Again and again Always fail Okay, how many stones do I have? Okay, 57 So not enough for another try <sighs> Okay, no more necro for me again <laughs> Okay, so um, that's it for the um, normal items use part for my Nightwalker. I'll be using the Notestones as well, but I'll be compiling that via a separate video just to see how, how it goes. So I'll be moving on to my next character, which is my Phantom. Let's go! Okay, so now we are at our Phantom. I'll be buying out the event items quickly. Okay, so the other time I was saying I wanted to wait for my Fafner top before I buy the legendary River Flame. So now I managed to get it. And yeah, I'll be buying out the all the River Flames. And uh, I have 1.8 thousand coins left. So that'll be used on uh, Lucky Day Scroll, I guess. So, <laughs> AP tickets. <laughs> okay, I'll just buy them. Uh, off recording Not very meaningful to show you guys Me buying AB tickets Okay, so I wanted to try to enhance my cane to uh, Star Force 31 So let's see whether we are able to do it today Oh, it's so expensive to Star Force to 31 It's 30 million missiles Ouch Oops oh, I'm pretty bad at catching the star <laughs> Let's go again 31? Okay, no fail See, this is a spoiler. Like you get, if when you're star force enhancing, if you're able to see your equip in the background, <laughs> you will be able to see whether it succeeds ahead of the animation that they show you at the front. Please let me succeed. Okay, fail again. <laughs> no fate to bring it to star force 31. Okay, so yeah, I've been deliberating for a while and I've decided to just inherit my uh, Phantom's gears because I intend to try to uh, upgrade him, you know, like bit by bit as time passes and through events. So I thought if I intend to sell, if I manage to necro this shoulder, then it's kind of a waste. I'll need to find a new shoulder for him. So yeah, over time I just decided uh, I'll just, you know, inherit his gears and not think so much anymore. But even inherit has a very low chance, it's only 30%. Yeah, so no. Not hoping for much, but hopefully we get to successfully inherit this shoulder. I've already reduced the Mastercraft fail count, so we'll be able to proceed straight to inheritance. Yeah, I haven't actually done an inheritance Mastercraft before. My weapon was bought... Oh, actually, yeah, correct. My Phantom, I can't really remember. I think it used to be Mythic and I... Inherited it myself. Yeah, I forgot about it because it happened so long ago. So this is actually the second time I'll be uh, Trying for inheritance mastercraft. Hopefully we get to pass Yeah, I'm so used to clicking on the necro button. So need to make sure that I don't press wrongly. You see necro is only 4% chance So low. Yeah, inherit is 30% but I do hear horror stories of people having failed inherit super many times like Maybe 30-40 times. That's pretty bad. Yeah, so hopefully we get to pass on the first try, then we don't have to use Mythic for this to keep reducing the fail count. Okay, <laughs> let's go! Yes! Wow, okay, so we managed to inherit the shoulder. I'm <laughs> not sure if any of my friends caught that. <laughs> yeah, so it's a Max Exot shoulder. I'll be equipping it. Yeah, so it, it stops at level 1, so I'm not even sure if I have enough powders at this stage to bring it <laughs> to max level. Yeah, I can inherit because it's actually a noble shoulder which is uh, best in slot. So you should, I think if you are more like concerned with whether or not your gear is best in slot and you want to take the inherit route, I would recommend that you just go straight for noble shoulder. Because once you inherit, you are unable to change the stat unlike a uh, necro whereby they give you the chance to, you know, select your stat. Yeah, I think it's really a long journey to, you know, adding this to level 40 so uh, I'm not gonna bother it to do it on recording but yeah so <laughs> my phantom has two uh, inherited gear the blue background is so pretty 
Yeah, so I'll be working on the rest of my gears and hopefully eventually he will be full blue. <laughs> yeah, so I also managed to get my final rupees coin from doing Chaos Rupees yesterday. And yeah, I have enough coins to get my top but not my bottom yet. I'll need one more week for that. So yeah, I need I'll just be buying this. Yeah, just to check that yeah, this is the correct class. Okay, hopefully we get a unique potential at the start. Yeah, I think for my um, Nightwalker, I didn't manage to get unique potential. Hopefully this one is unique pot. Yes! Woohoo! That's great! Yeah, so with unique pot, I can straight away just um, uh, appraise it. Three lines? Okay, no. Asking for too much. But yeah, I'll be able to, you know, try for a legendary potential. See whether we have the luck to do it. <sighs> okay... <laughs> All these scrolls actually have a very low chance to pass. But since they are free, I'll just I just decided I should use the free scrolls first. Yeah, I'll just fast forward this part because it might take quite a while. Okay, so I didn't manage to pass on any of the free scrolls, but I'll be using uh, all these to craft uh, scrolls as long as many as it takes to pass. So bear with me for a little bit longer. Yeah, this scroll has a twenty percent chance of passing, which is much higher than the free ones, which is only one to five percent chance. So let's see how many scrolls it will take. Hopefully, very few to get my uh, top to legendary potential. Yay! We managed to pass it on the second uh, self-crafted scroll. So let's see what potential we get. <laughs> okay, it's pretty bad. Let's <laughs> see if we have any red cubes. Yeah, we have quite a few. So we want to scroll till we get physical uh, attack lines. Yeah, I think it should be physical attack lines. Either physical attack or... Yeah, correct. It should be physical attack. Hopefully we get 150. <laughs> Okay, not looking good so far. <laughs> they give me such terrible potential. Oh man, just give me a physical attack line, please. Or maybe two lines. <laughs> no, no magic attack. Physical attack, please. Okay, 150 physical attack. Okay, I'm gonna stop here. <laughs> this is good enough for me. Yeah, so I'll be uh, waiting for the golden apple season to see whether I can buy any, you know, affordable Star Force enhancement scrolls just to bring it to a higher Star Force uh, immediately because right now my outfit is 20 so unless I get my bottom and I get both to Star Force 10 it wouldn't make sense to swap it in at this point in time Yeah, there's also a physical attack line on my current outfit Yeah, so I'll be using my uh, Rebirth Flame on this top as well yeah, I will try to get it. I'll be spamming all these until uh, hopefully I get two lines. If not, I'll just be using the legendary rebirth flame straight. So, wish me luck, guys. Let's go! quickly skip through it but I managed to get two lines I think in about less than 50 flames well that's pretty lucky actually because I've ever experienced using 300 flames at one go with not a single uh, double line appearing yeah so I managed to get two lines I think yeah pretty lucky and hopefully we get you know double PA lines <laughs> with our legendary flame but we will see let's go please Okay, these both are junk, so we just have to use our second one. Give me PA lines. Mmm, physical attack skill with crit rate. So my crit rate on my phantom isn't very high, so this is not very good either. 
we have one last final flame. Hopefully, two PA lines, two EXP, our HP. Oh wow! Okay, okay, this is good. Yeah, I'll just be keeping this. This is not bad. Wow, I think this will my top be even better than my outfit already. Yeah, my outfit does. Ah, uh, outfit doesn't give PA lines. So, yeah, for sure it will be better, but. I'm just not sure whether equipping it would be make sense at this point in time. Yeah, let's just see. Yeah, it, it decreases my stats mainly because of the star balls. So I won't be wearing it for now. Yeah, I'll just be keeping it here, but I think for now it's pretty ideal. I'm quite lucky to get decent flames uh, at my final legendary river flame. I don't think I'll be changing it any further because it's pretty hard to get a double line physical attack. Yeah, I'm quite satisfied with this for now. So that's <laughs> what I'll be keeping. Yeah, I'll need tons of powders to max this as well as my uh, shoulder because these were untradeable from the start. It's not like I can pass them to my subs to rank up. <laughs> so yeah, I'll be uh, ranking up these two if I have enough powders later on. Yes, yeah, so let's move on to our bishop next. Okay, so we are at our bishop now. Without further ado, we just buy out the event items. Okay, I wanted to get out the remainder of the node stones, which is 2. Yeah, I'm left with 1.7 thousand coins, which I will be also using to buy the 7% Lucky Day Scroll. <laughs> and yeah, I think uh, auto battle ticket for sure, so I'll just get this first. 118, I'll even show what else I can get. Yeah. Thing later. <laughs> okay, so we'll just quickly move into Star Force Enhancement. So my Bishop's weapon is also at Star Force 30, trying to hit the 31 mark. Hopefully we get to succeed within these two sets of scrolls. Please! Okay, no. My Lucky Day scroll didn't work, so we just have to depend on the 6% raw success rate. Okay, also fail. <laughs> so difficult, and the missile's cost is very expensive as well. Yeah, and I think the only one other thing that I wanted to do on my bishop is to enhance my uh, Chaos Huntio necklace. So I managed to get one of them to a uh, unique potential. Maybe I'll just change the pot for now. Player attack, a <laughs> useless set. Okay, let's see. Boss attack. Hmm, but not good enough because I was thinking if I want one stat of boss attack, one line, it should at least be 1%. So yeah, this is not satisfactory. Let me reroll. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. What is that? Okay, bad. Looks like we just have to wait for more red cubes to keep away all these bad potentials. Yeah, okay, so I have quite a couple of Hontio necklace to go. Hopefully we get to bring it to at least... Uh, um, four? <laughs> okay, maybe three will be good enough. So let's just go. First one is 100%. Yeah, second one is 60%. Please, pass. Okay, yes. Okay, the third one is the challenging one. 30% is like pretty low. So hopefully we get to pass. Yes! Wow. Okay, we did the, the first three tries was like 100% success rate. Yeah, the fourth and the fifth star is where it gets challenging. There's only a 10% chance of passing for both uh, to Star Force 4 and to Star Force 5. Four. Okay, no. <laughs> it's our final one. Yeah, so this my uh, Hondo necklace is currently at uh, Star Force 3, uh, which is not too bad, I think. Yeah, so that's it for my Bishop. Let's move on to our Angelic Buster next. Okay, we're at our Angelic Buster now. So I'll start off by buying out the event shop item. I left with 3.4 thousand uh, coins. I'll be getting out the <laughs> remaining note stone. Yeah, there's only one left. So I think since I have one more, I'll just get a lucky scroll, a lucky day scroll. This is 7% chance. Yeah, and the remaining coins, probably I'll just get uh, <laughs> auto battle tickets. <laughs> That's the most precious resource now. Okay, so let's just go ahead with enhan Star Wars enhancing our Weapon. Yeah, I have one uh, Lucky Day Scroll. Yeah, actually I have two. Let's use the 5% one first. Hopefully we get some Star Force out of this. Okay, fail. Okay, the second one. 
Oh man, both my lucky scrolls failed. No more already. Yeah. So I'll just use out the remaining three set of scrolls. Please let me succeed to 28 at least. Oh yay, nice. Okay, so managed to get one star force out of it. Hopefully you this one passes also. Okay, no. But at least we managed to get uh, this weapon to Star Force 28, which is not bad. Yay! Okay, so now I'll need to <laughs> necro again. Yeah, if I'm not wrong, I already reduced the um, the Mastercraft field count on my weapon. Yeah, already re reduced. So I'll just be um, uh, making my stone and can straight away hop into necro. Mastercraft our weapon. Hopefully we get an acro soul shooter. It's been quite a long while. <laughs> Hopefully we get finally get to see it. Okay, let's see. Ah, please just let me pass. This weapon is like so important. It's probably the most important acro that I hope to pass. Because I feel like my angelic master's DPS will really skyrocket after I successfully get a necro. Okay, without further hesitation, let's go, please! Okay, fail. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, so the other day uh, I had a free boss rush potion. So after my um weekly Chaos Root Abyss bossing, I went to attempt kerning uh floor 50 and I managed to get this. I managed to clear it in two minutes with full buffs and boss rush potion. So yeah, that's amazing. So I feel like the potential of Angelic Buster is really high. And this is also just a crit rate weapon, it's not even Jahin. It's not the crit damage weapon. So I thought that, yeah, it's pretty amazing that I managed to pass. Woo! <laughs> There's some renovation going on around my house. Not sure if you guys can hear the sound, but I'll try to speak a little louder so that, yeah, my voice actually wins the background noise. <laughs> it's so difficult to record and like predict all these <laughs> random events that happen all around you <laughs> as part of your daily life. Yeah, so <laughs> we fail our Necro Mastercraft again, so sad. And yeah, so for now I want to also exalt my shoulder. It's at 38, so I just need one more to pass. So I have a, a noble shoulder, which I hope can pass. <laughs> so we have a secondary chance of 5% because the other day we failed one noble shoulder. Hopefully this one passed, then we can try for our Necro Mastercraft. Okay, let's go! Please! Yes! Okay, so I managed to successfully exhort. So I wouldn't be leveling it up first. So we can try for a uh, necro before we do that. Yeah, because once I necro, it will go back to level 1 and I'll have to use my powders to level it up again. <laughs> I'm saying as if it's so easy to necro, but actually it's really, really difficult. And yeah, the chance of doing so is very low. I only have enough. Uh, actually, I have enough pieces for two attempts. So let's just craft um, uh, two stones. Okay, another armor stone. Hopefully we get <laughs> to success, succeed necro on this shoulder. That would be great. Yeah, because uh, you, you should always um, fully exalt it to 40 before you attempt for necro because once you uh, hit necro, it's very difficult to exalt your gear anymore. And 40 is the maximum you can go and mythic, so we can't go to 42. That's, that can only be done at the ancient stage, which is after you either inherit or necro mastercraft your gear. Yeah, so let's just go ahead to try to turn necro our shoulder. Yeah, this is a crit damage um, shoulder, so I'm really hoping that I get necro, then it would be really really valuable shoulder. <laughs> okay, let's go! Necro! Okay, fail the first try. You want know our second try? Please let me pass. Let's go! Okay, fail again. <laughs> okay, no Necro luck for me today. So sad. Yeah, so since uh, it'll be a while before I uh, accumulate enough stones to craft my ancient weapon, uh, armor crystal, I'll just, you know, rank it up to 40 first just to get the additional crit attack instead. Yep. Okay, 40. Yeah, I didn't take a lot of powder, so not so bad. Increase 17 crit attack. 
yeah actually that's about the most uh, the key stat the rest is like just increasing MP and your uh, defense stat which is not that important I think yeah so but at least we managed to get one star force out of our weapon <laughs> but we failed four necro so far today <laughs> that's quite sad but I guess we just have to accept it <laughs> Oh well, so actually that's the, the end of my um, video in terms of my 4 characters upgrades. There's nothing much I want to do but you you guys can tune in to watch the V-Matrix updates for my Angelic Buster which will be done via a separate video. So yeah, with that we've come to the end of today's video. If you enjoyed it, do remember to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!